Lucky Taco Box Tournament Series for July. Let's see what's in it. We got Fish Hound Magazine with Slab Crappies. We got uh, Refer a Friend, the Tournament, and then what's in the box? Little duo top water bait. First up is duo. This is a Tetra Works Europin. It's a finesse top water bait. It's about an inch and three quarters, inch and a half long. Super light. It says 45 is a size. It's 48 millimeters, which is an inch and a seven eighths. Long. It's a eighth of an ounce in size 12 hooks. The color is zebra glow, so it glows. Be a pretty cool night time lure, I bet. I imagine you catch anything from crappy to brim, bass, anything in the water will probably smash on this thing. It's a cool bait. Next up is Livingston Lures Pro Ripper. It's a lipless bait, but if you wet your fingers and then you when you wet the end of it you can get it to make noises let me see if I can get it to work better mm. Once it hits water is whenever it really activates, but you can hear it lightly. But these are really good. It's a, a good lure. Even whenever it stops making noise, don't think that it's trash. It's still a above average lipless bait. They have jerk baits and crank baits and square bills and top waters and everything. I love this color. It's like a phantom shad or something like that. Real shad. It's, you can't go wrong with a lipless shad colored bait. A lot of pros use these. Randy Howell, I think, is their biggest, one of their biggest uh, pros that they have on their team. But these are very, very good baits. You can't go wrong with them. You can yo-yo these or straight retrieve them. Deep water to shallow water, they, they're going to get you some bites. Next up is a half ounce War Eagle Custom Lures. This is, they call it the nighttime spinner. It's good for dark nighttime or muddy water. It's got rattles. With this, uh, I think Colorado blade, it'll put off a lot of noise and more vibration in the water than standard willow blades. They are uh, definitely fish fish bite getters. I've never seen this one through uh, where you go. I don't know if it's a LTB exclusive thing or or not, but I mean, we all know spinner baits get bit, but this one would probably just thrive better in dark water, muddy water. Next up is bait butter. This is a Lucky Tackle Box thing too, I think. Maybe not. It may just be um, a different brand but it's got bait mate fish attracting in it I don't know if bait butter is an actual company or if they're with uh, bait mate so it's a uh, kind of melted it's 95 degrees in Georgia right now but this is a highly concentrated or ultra con concentrated fish attractant smell like bait fish put it on your worms or what I like to do is put it in a Ziploc bag and whatever plastic that I want to throw, I stick them in the Ziploc bag, roll it around for a second, <clears throat> and then throw it out there. But the best thing about that is if you've got something that's already on a hook, you can stick it in the bag if you have it where the hook isn't going to poke a hole in the bag. You can roll it around again and throw it back out there instead of having to 
squirt it back on the lure, rub it in all the way and all that stuff. Just pour it in a bag, dip your lure in there, use your fingers to rub it in on the lure and then you're back in the water in two seconds. Next up by Big Bite Baits is the Battle Bug by Mike McClellan and an Ozark Crawl. I got one out of the package. Got a bunch of cool appendages for action. You got some big flappers on the crawl, these little tentacles. It's kind of like an in-between of a brush hog and a crawl or however. But you can tear the these long appendages off and have just a crawl or you can tear the crawl off and have like a long curly tail grub, however you want to do it. They're almost like a worm if you put it on a shaky head. These are these are fish catchers for sure. Can't go wrong with crawl baits and the, sometimes the more flappier the better. Next up is Deep Treat Lures Razor Beetle or DC Super Razor Beetle and a Copper Crawl. These things are, they got some pretty good size to them. And they are, if you're craving Italian food, there's your garlic bread scent all over this baby. Makes me want to go to Olive Garden. But it's a nice, probably four and a half, five inch profile. Good solid thick plastic. I like how it's thinner where your hook goes through. That way you're not having to go through the whole half inch of plastic. You're only going through about a eighth or a quarter of an inch. They're soft, but still durable. Good appendages, good flappers, the ribs uh, should displace water more. I like these. I'd, I'd definitely be giving these a, a shot. Next up is Cabin Creek Junior Express Crawl and a Green Pumpkin Blue Copper, Blue and Copper Flake. Okay, this is probably one of my most go-to baits out. You can put it on one of the little Ned Heads, Ned Heads, and just have a little bitty crawl or the little Z-Man Shroom uh, finesse jigs. You get a two-pack for like five bucks. They're perfect trailer size on that. Little ball head jigs, I mean anything like that. But when you're having a tough bite, just downsize the profile. Tossing this around rocks and lay downs and stuff like that, you're almost guaranteed to get a bite. And this color, it not only does it help or imitate crawls really good, it, if you have bluegill in your lake, which most do, just gonna imitate that as well. It has the beveled ends to help displace water and make it swim better and give more action. These are these are definitely bite getters, tournament clinching type lures. Next up is Bruiser Baits, Kicking Frog, soft hollow topwater frog, buzz toad type bait. Looks like a green pumpkin or watermelon color. You got a slot for the hook. These are good. I've had them before. Belly weighted swim bait hooks. And you just buzz them on top of the water over lily pads and stuff. Especially when you're in the top water summer month bites. Next up is Clear Lake Lures Popper. It's a top water bait. It's got a cup mouth. It's got the rattle inside. Helps with the casting. It helps with the weight transfer and all that good stuff. I haven't heard of this company. I don't know if they our company or if they're affiliated with any of the Lucky Tackle Box people because I know Travis Moran and them are from Cali and they fish on Clear Lake a lot but looks like a good bait should get bit sexy shad color feathered trailer hook or treble hook on the end definitely should catch fish probably one of my favorite lures in the box is this Jinko booty shaker three and a half inch Perfect on a ball head jig or a little swim bait head, but <coughs> I like to throw it on an underspin, a little trocar underspin or a um, cool baits underspin, anywhere from 3 16th ounce to 3 8 ounce. You can also throw these on Alabama rigs. This color is thread fin shad or kind of like a sexy shad I guess I love these things though but I would throw them on anything from 3 16 to half ounce heads unless you're trying to get a lot deeper with smaller profile 
Next up is Smart Baits Foxy Frog. They change color depending on water temperature. They go from smoke to June bug or chartreuse to blood red. I love all of their other stuff, so I don't see why this would be any different. It's kind of like the bruiser bait though. <laughs> little top water buzz bait or you can, I think you can put these on a little ball head jig too and they'll go underwater and the little flappers will kick out water. But you can, you can see how the feet are starting to change colors with me touching them versus the outside air temperature. But yeah, these are cool. They, uh, that bait change in technology, that's so freaking awesome to me. And a lot of people don't think it makes a difference, but I can assure you it does. <coughs> when you take something that's been seeing green pumpkin all day and then it gets a green pumpkin ish color and it swaps to June bug or something green pumpkin is colored swaps to June bug in front of its face it's either shows aggression or makes it want to bite I'm not sure why but it works next up is some Cantana EWG 3 out hooks these are really super sharp I think they're from their Japanese tournament grade style hooks but I love all the Katana stuff that I've tried so far they come on all the boy ducket stuff too. Then we got some, we got some three alt, a three pack of three alt, ultra lock light soft plastic mustad hooks. They're angled down in the back to help keep the bait on and they're strong and de dependable. I mean, all mustad stuff is, but I'm not sure about the three pack being three dollars. That's a little steep but I'm not the one looking them up every day. The final bait in the box is Mustad KVD Ultra Point. They're uh, ultra light lock hooks as well. They angle down to help keep the plastic on. These are one alt. You get a four pack. There's $3.99 for a four pack. I guess Mustad could have went up in price but who knows, all fishing stuff's going up because it's getting so popular now. Again, this is the tournament series box for Lucky Tackle Box for July. Then we got a sticker, and then we got our fish hound. Talks about crappy and asking the anglers. Tells you how to fish a lot of the stuff in here. All the contests coming up, up and coming stuff, and how to tie knots. Pretty cool. Give Lucky Tackle Box a, a shot. I have a link in my bio for $5 off. Thank you.